so of course I added some gold <laughs> I like gold with these two colors like a blue green and orangey color I think gold is a very good complement to these colors so what I wanted to do today is use these uh, this brush this is called the striper and I have something similar in the Princeton line which is called um, a dagger now someone asked me a question in the comments of one of my previous videos asking me if I had a dagger brush and um, lo and behold I looked in my set and I saw that I had one I do believe I used this previously but not for what it is intended I think I just used it for background effects uh, this one I don't know if you can see the difference between the two of them but this one has more of a diagonal a clean cut diagonal whereas this one is rounder so I'm not sure if they are different or they are meant to be the same kind of brushes it's just a different nomenclature from company to company but um, I find that these are probably reacting the same way um, the cool thing about this brush is that you can get super thin lines like incredibly thin without too much effort and but then again you can get like a beautiful like um a beautiful thick line depending on how you handle the brush i i have to practice with this because i was agreeably surprised i think you can uh, probably do a lot more than what i did here um also i wasn't really consistent with the space in between the two halves of each of the leaves uh that just tells me that i need to practice and have some more fun because <laughs> it's just incredible to discover a new tool especially if you had it in your stash and you haven't really used it um yes so the um, and then I, I just did a little bit of offset doodling and of course I ended up adding the gold because gold what I find interesting in my book at this point is that I can actually see where I grabbed the paper when I was binding my book uh, because these are they're kind of like I have some spots that the paint will resist and that's because I had a lot of cream on my hands which could have been the dumbest thing I've ever done. I uh, put some cream on my hands before I actually bound the book. Do not do that, <laughs> okay? So if you're gonna put your book together, don't, don't use cream, or if you do, wear some cotton gloves to do it. Uh, but that's okay, I'm, I'm working around it and it doesn't matter to me so much. It's just, I find this so funny. There are actually some pages that are worse than that. Um, I like the, the offset doodling and, and the whole look is fairly simple. What I wanted to outline here is the shapes that I got from this brush and I know I'm going to use it some more because I think it's fun. I love the colors. It's simple but sometimes simplicity is best. It's a perfect exercise in the morning to do because um, you're gonna get into a situation where you don't know how to handle your tool. I'm just talking about if you have a brush that you're not used to using or if you have these two brushes and like me have not used them. Uh, this could be a very fun awakening <laughs> exercise in the morning. I know I enjoyed it thoroughly. So anyways, expect some more um, morning practice with this striper or dagger. I think my next one I could probably use the dagger, although this is much bigger. This is half an inch and this is three eighths of an inch. Um, and my pages are not that big, but anyways, um, I'll see what I can pull out uh, from these two brushes. And if you don't, you don't have to go out and buy them. I'm just giving you, um, you know, a snapshot of what I do in the morning. It's it's up to you to judge if you need it or not. <laughs> but I don't want you to spend money because I, I say it's a great brush. But it is a great brush. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stop now. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to my awesome patrons. You guys are keep coming in and I'm just like, the door is open. Thank you so much. Your generosity is just astounding and I am so appreciative. And it's because of these guys that um, I can do free videos for you on YouTube every morning of the week. So thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.